What is going on everybody? Welcome back. Today we are getting out and attempting a mystery tackle box slam. Now if you guys are not familiar with the mystery tackle box slam, the idea is to get a catch on every single lure provided by this month's mystery tackle box. Now we're going to take a real quick look at the awesome lures provided this month, then get out there on the water and start fishing and hopefully make the most of today. Alright, we got ourselves a Lunker Hunter crankbait, a Z-Man chatterbait, some X-Zone craws, those look pretty damn good. West End Topwater, definitely going to tie that on first. Some Z-Man little drop shot baits, and we got ourselves some pretty cool looking hooks. Those things are really sweet. On top of that, we got ourselves a juicy sticker we're definitely going to add to the tackle box. Let's get out there, that will make some fun happen. All right, guys, we got our first lure on from this month's Mystery Tackle Box. It is going to be a West End Topwater lure. It's got double props on the back, so it should make a ton of noise. Hopefully help us find some fish on this cloudy, rainy day. It wasn't raining five minutes ago when I started filming this intro, but it's raining now. Oh my God, I'm going to slip and fall in the water for the second time in one week. Oh, a little frog jumped in. Good sign. All right, let's get it right there burn it through that area so once again this is just a little top water lure it's similar to like a whooper plopper or other little revolver type baits has a lot of vibration and splashing on top of the water and basically we're just going to get it out there start reeling this bad boy in and hoping we can get ourselves a fish if you guys don't know we got our boy weston over here i showed up to the pond ended up wearing the exact same outfit as him like Almost word for word. I got the sandals, the shorts, the yellow shirt. <laughs> we got hats with ropes on them. Oh, I had a blow up. I had a blow up. I was just saying I never get blow up here. First blow up guys right here just working this bait on the edge. Actually as fast as I could. More noise the better I guess. This thing's pretty nice. It works right through that grass patch I just went over real easy. I mean, it did get one little strand, but I'll take that. Dude, this water temp is so hot. It's got double props too, so it allows us to definitely kick up a ton of water. All right, guys, we just worked ourselves down to the bigger body of water. I'm going to swap out real quick and go to this chatterbait for the meantime. I know we'll have a great chance towards sunset to get this top water bite on. So I'm going to start trying to pick off these lures. And what we have right here is that Z-Man chatterbait with that X-Zone muscle crawl as a trailer. I figured we'd kill two birds with one stone. On top of that, it is black and blue, which is going to be ideal for these stained water conditions because of this rain that just rolled in. So hopefully the vibration, the color, and then just this combo of having two lures at once will kind of swing ourselves into the making of this mystery tackle box slam. So let's get to it. All right, guys, chatterbait is on and out there. Rocking it on a Guggen go-to rod. A lot of, feels like there's a lot of grass caught up right there. Good thing about this little Z-Man chatterbait, it is weedless, so it does have some weed guards. It's not gonna make it impenetrable to weed though. As you can see, got a little bit tied up on there. But I'll show you guys real quick. We got those weed guards help stay above those grass patches. Typically, I'll fish chatterbaits multiple ways. I either go, ooh, big bait ball right there. I either go for like the hopping method where you kind of flip it like a jig and fish it like a jig or I just go with that steady retrieve, that steady roll. It just honestly depends on the conditions. At a place like this with the nasty stained water and everything, we're probably going to have to fish it a little slower. Oh! Like no, that was a bass! I, was, I literally just said no bites as you got hit. As you got hit. Dude, I was just bringing that in because I was like, this flow of water is nice. I'm going to run it through here. I'm going to do it one more time. Yep. I passed it last night and didn't have the same luck you just did. Oh my God, guys. Just missed one. Just missed one on the chatterbait. Bringing it in way too quick, but it happens. It happens. That was a good one, too. It's probably about two. That's a little blow up we just saw right here, guys. I'm going to pull the drop shot out and just let it. Whoops sit right here in this little run of water apparently trim those hedges just gonna let it do its thing am i on fish on fish on <laughs> let's go boys first cast in that i just talked about it first cast in there 
let's go boys and it's a pretty little white looking bass look at that thing man really pretty once again just running that little z-man bait on that drop shot little guy but i will take him that's what's going to get us going on this slam get him back in the water see you buddy and we'll get these random baits that are just sitting here on the bank all right guys since we just got one on this uh drop shot lure it's time to swap out oops we're gonna go with that lunker hunt bait that they gave us that jolt and this thing's actually perfect if you ask me because it's gonna have that bluegill pattern which is gonna be ideal for a location like this let's get it out there just gonna slow crank it through this water since i already got one down there now, if you guys aren't familiar with crankbaits they're a great application for hard surfaces like what we're fishing right here. If we got a ton of rocks, some logs maybe even that we can just run and bump right over. Is as they swim, those hooks come up, those bills right there will hit any sort of rocks and bump right off of it. So when you fish areas like this, you typically do pretty well. I typically fish these in open water and I use them as a search bait. So when I don't really know where the fish are at and I'm trying to find a fish, throw one of these bad boys on and just start cranking them out there. Try to fish this crank high, got that rod tip up high. Keep that bait up high, hopefully. Out of that grass. Try to fish this pond a little bit parallel too. Hard to fish it parallel right now because of the water depth, but. A lot of, oh my God, that's getting closer. Oh, oh, right here in front of me. Top water or no? no, that's a crankbait. Really? Yeah. Nice one. See if we can get this in, guys. It's not a tank, but it's a good one. Get in the water, boys. Woo! Yeah, that's that's a good one. I'm just I I hate grabbing them. Got away. Got away. He, couldn't. he couldn't escape the rigged. Whew. Look at that, guys. Just got that bad boy on that crankbait once again, like I was saying. Trying to keep it on the surface and mimic some of those topwater bait fish that we saw over there. Solid fish. I want to say three pounds, maybe two and a half. Let's get a real quick weight. All right, real quick weight. I think like two and a half. Whew. Oh my. Oh my. Is it bigger than three? Oh my. 3.3. Dude, let's dude, go dude, last second bite guys wow. let's freaking go get him man he's thick got some shoulders on him thanks buddy Ooh, that was sick there we go guys that crankbait did it i knew it would i had a good feeling i literally just said it there you go all right i'm afraid to put this top water bait on this spin rod but i'm gonna do it anyways just so i have both at the same time you guys heard it here first you probably don't want to do what i'm about to do don't put a top water bait on a medium action rod with six pound line like I'm about to do, unless you're really risking it for the biscuit like we are. <laughs> I got three more lures actually to complete the slam, including that muscle crawl that is on that chatter bait as a trailer. So let's see if we can finish it out technically with these two more rods, two more fish. We'll get ourselves a slam. You know it's a big fish when they start cutting you. Look at that bass then that one gave us. Pretty solid, just from one fish. Cut me right there, right there. Pretty aggressive, big, mean mouth. Seems like they're wanting those baits moving quick. Doesn't matter if they're on the surface or where they're at. They just want them moving quick right now. It's almost like a reaction strike. They're acting to how these bait fish are. They're just being sporadic and running away and scurrying out as quickly as possible. I think that these fish right now aren't really looking at the bait as much as they're looking for those reactions. That's another good one. Ryan's got a tank right now. Oh, <laughs> Ten pounder. No, no, don't, don't shake. Don't shake. Let's go, boys. I said top water. I think we're like four casts in. I got way too excited about this two pound fish. <laughs> I will take it though, man. Two casts in on the top water with treble hooks. Gotta be careful with those treble hooks, guys. All right, buddy. 
Jeez, what is up with these guys? He's like throwing water out of me like crazy. He literally got my entire crotch wet. <laughs> All right, I'm down to the chatterbait. Guys, we are starting to get into the thick of it over here, working this dam right now. Got one last bait to finish out this slam. Is that chatterbait craw combo. If you ask me, this is probably the one bait I would love to have at the very end because it's one of my confidence baits. I'll work around this dam real quick. Nice calm flats over here too. Start burning this a little bit quicker, trying to keep it on the surface of the water. It seems to be the best for the bite here. Keep those lures up instead of having this fish look down. There we go, there we go, that's a fish. There we go, that's a good one too. Keep it down, buddy, keep it down, keep it down. That's a good fish. Felt good at least. Let's go, boys. I thought it was a lot bigger than that, the way it was fighting, but there we go. Getting the last one on that chatterbait. Once again, throw that muscle crawl and that chatterbait black and blue. Got ourselves, this is probably the second biggest fish of the day. Definitely got some, some weight on it, man. I'd say probably another three. Shoot, a lot smaller, man. I was saying two nine. He's a 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. Yeah, when I pulled him out of the water, he definitely started shrinking, but the way he was fighting, I mean, you can see him. He's a thick boy. Let's get him back in the water. Let's go, guys. That is what's going to finish our MTB slam right there. All right, guys. Got out here and attempted that MTB slam, and we got the job done. One fish on every single lure, and it was an awesome day out there. Don't forget, if you guys are interested in picking up the Mystery Tackle Box, you can get a year subscription right now, and they'll even hook you up with a free Guggen Gold Series rod. That offer ends at the end of August, so make sure you take advantage of that as soon as possible. But that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.